Yesterday sucked. Uh, as as oh. a, a, yesterday sucked oh, okay. as a Michigan Wolverine. Yesterday sucked. There's no other way to put it. There's no other way to put it. When when Jawan Howard threw a hand in the direction of the Wisconsin staff, or in the direction of the assistant coach, and connected, and took something that was a pushing and shoving fest and changed it into something that wound up getting a couple of Michigan players suspended and himself suspended. It it's it's just not at all acceptable and I'm hoping that Jawan Howard's statement that I wish he would have delivered first blush that came out yesterday hopefully this is what we can hang our hat on because it strikes every possible note, and I think it speaks to who he really is. After taking time to reflect on all that happened, I realized how unacceptable both my actions and words were and how they affected so many. I am truly sorry. I'm offering my sincerest apology to my players and their families, my staff, my family, and the Michigan fans around the world. I would like to personally apologize to Wisconsin's assistant coach, Joel Krabenhoft, and his family, too. Lastly, I speak a lot about being a Michigan man and representing the University of Michigan with class and pride. I did not do that, nor did I set the right example in the right way for my student athletes. I will learn from my mistakes, and this mistake will never happen again. No, ex- no excuses in the knee with an exclamation point. Maybe he texted it. An exclamation point. Hmm. Oh, I'm trying to let my smile be a little bit of an umbrella here because it's stunk. It's just exactly what a coach should not do. And it is exactly what somebody who is a Michigan man and what he talks about being a Michigan man. I know all of everybody makes fun of us as Michigan fans when we refer to somebody being a Michigan man, which is what refers to Bo Schembechler talking about one of Jawan Howard's predecessors, Bill Frieder, when Frieder announces at the end of a Big Ten regular season that he's leaving to go to Arizona State, but he'll stick around and coach the team in the NCAA tournament. And Bo, who was the athletic director at the time, said, nah, you can go now, Bill. I want a Michigan man coaching a Michigan team. And then made us go, yes, even though the guy who replaced him didn't actually go to Michigan was his assistant, Steve Fisher. But he did win six more games in a row and did one of the most incredible things in the history of sports, which is shut Mike Del Tufo up. <laughs> Hard to do. <laughs> Beating Seton Hall. And so that's what it's referred to, Michigan man. I want a Michigan man coasting a Michigan team. And that b- gave birth to what we ascribe to being a Michigan man. And it's all things that are high class and – sportsmanship and things of that nature and it's a very tough ideal to live up to and that's why people make fun of it when certainly they don't live up to it and it stung being a Michigan fan yesterday the combine as you know uh is no longer bubbled up that news I learned from Tom Pelissero but not from my colleague Tom Pelissero's tweet from my colleague Daniel Jeremiah's retweet of it Thank goodness, DJ wrote, I was getting a little nervous. It would be just Rich Eisen and me talking current events. So, Rich, I haven't watched much college basketball this year. How's your Michigan squad doing? Oh, my God. (laughs) And so I'm like, you know what? That is just an absolute poop sandwich being served up by one of my favorite people. Out of the blue, I'm just sitting around doing nothing, trying to be best dad ever. And he's sending that in my direction. And I just got all pissed off and fired back, you know, uh, you know, thanks, you know, in quotes. uh, We're okay. Thanks. Better than Appalachian State's basketball program. Thanks for asking. So, of course, and then I got a whole bunch of other, you know, um, I got a whole bunch of other responses from App State fans pointing out they actually have a better record than Michigan. I was just looking that up. 17 and 12. Yeah. And they're, you know. Overall, and they they might make the tournament, which Michigan doesn't look like they're making, and it stinks. Mm. The whole thing just stinks, and actions have consequences. 
and your actions have consequences not just for yourself but around everybody else and that's what being a leader and best is and that's why I'm glad to see Jawan Howard with that statement apologizing to everybody I wish that it happened in first blush on Sunday he is now suspended for the rest of the regular season which is what I yesterday when you said to me what do you think should happen yeah I said that's how about suspended said. for the rest of the regular season yep it's five games, four of them are at home, and then their last game's at Ohio State. Yep. They've got an old hand to step in. Yes, longtime St. Joe's head coach, Phil Martelli, was one of the first hires Juwan Howard made when he got the job, and I yep. thought that was terrific at yep. the time. And now he's going to step in, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully they can rally around Phil and make the tournament or get a better seat in the Big Ten Championship. And I hope we face Wisconsin again. I hope we face them again. And I know this thing will be played back more than often than not because of it. It'll be played back when Jawan Howard takes the bench again for the first time. You know, I get it. I would say it's going to be played for a long time. So better get it out of the way right away and hold Juwan to his standard of it's never going to happen again, no excuses, because I imagine the third time will be a more difficult yeah. repercussion than a five-game suspension. That, that would probably be it. I, I think he, he earned and deserved, and it kills me to say it, but I shoot you straight here on this program. Yesterday sucked. Daniel Jeremiah sending me that text. So I sent him back to him. I sent back one last tweet, like if this is his way of uh, getting rid of our traditional handshake line at the Combine. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Daniel, I'll remember that. <laughs> it'll mush him. As soon as you see him, him. Your on site, Rich. Pull your mask Daniel down. Jeremiah yeah. is unmushable, guys. We know that, know, man, because he's going, he's coming for you. I can tell DJ. you that. So the second you see him, just wop. DJ as in <laughs> D's nuts. <laughs> hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.